guys, it's Queen Bija, and in today's video, I will be reacting to episode 11 of Fake Grand Order Babylonia. So let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. I'm your puppy. Hello. Really? Did you have to start the episode like this? Really? Like, I'm glad, but ooh. Yeah. Stop, babe. Oh my god, Cody. Mm -hmm. Okay, you're done. Okay. I mean, I can't upload it. I gotta edit it. But it's okay. It takes like 55, 54 minutes. But I got two. I got you, babe. The hell wants a big ass battle axe. The fact that the voice actors played <laughs> my baby, <laughs> my husband, no, as a child, like, oh my god, this is so fucking cute. <laughs> Made me want to rewatch the last season of Alien again. She's not fucking playing. I'm scared. Mm -hmm. 
Mm-mm. Mm-mm. For the thrill of it. Excitement. See, mm -hmm. the type of bitch I don't want to run into by myself. I mean, she probably might be worse than Mr. X from Resident Evil 2. Okay. No, bro. Mm -mm. that's not. <laughs> My fucking god, this bitch, what the? She on a hole, oh my god. Honestly, I forgot about you for a moment. <laughs> yeah, you run up there. <laughs> you okay? Uh, probably. Uh. Uh, 
I mean, if we go back and look at Fujimoto, Fujimoto ain't like, he probably still at the beginning getting up them damn stairs. <laughs> Oh, Jesus, I'm scared. How'd you get there? All right, good job. At least you tried. You better start doing something. Hurry! Because once you get up on them damn stairs, you're going to get there like... Girl, you're gonna have your arms broken by the end of this. Do you know how OP she is? Oh, Nero, Nero, my baby! Car catches the car off of this bitch! Shut up, bit bit. Mm -hmm. Oh, I thought she was just going to push him down. So can we just replay that moment and just see what all Yeah, you're just like the second half. Like, if you were going into a palace in Persona 5, you're in the second half of the group. But you're still the leader.
Yeah, but you know, be hard hitting. You're supposed to be Sherlock Holmes or something? Okay. Excuse me. Yeah, but by the time you guys find out, I'm, I don't know, I got a really bad feeling about this now. It smells like I'm spotting spray in there. <laughs> Maybe you should go sleep. Honestly, I like their talk together. It's interesting. And I mean, because I get to see my other best girl. So, you know, I, <laughs> that's a bliss. Oh. 
god, he's so cute! <laughs> You're gonna see. This party is getting freaking big. What's wrong? Is it Gogamesh? What happened? <laughs> Why would you end like that? Oh my god, with her just saying King Gilman. What happened? <laughs> I need to know. Oh my god, no, you can't. You cannot end an episode like that. That is the worst cliffhanger now. This is officially the worst cliffhanger. I'm sorry. Oh my god. My husband, what happened to Gilgamesh? Is he okay? Is he hurt? But is he fine? Did he get kidnapped? Bitch, like, say something. Oh my god. No. Mm -mm. I can't accept this because I gotta wait until next mother episode Saturday. That's too long of a wait. Even though that's a week. A week is way too freaking long. Like, oh my god, don't do that. No, no, no. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Okay, so with Dr. Romani, I still like him, even though now we know that he has this secret that he hasn't said. But it, it feels like now it's just after learning. That oh, okay, never mind. Where are you? Are you okay? I don't think you could go back to sleep. How the fuck are they gonna get him back? Oh my god, I can't. What is this? I can't. I can't. Stop. Okay. But just fucking stop. Okay. Even though I like Dr. Ramani, I've liked him ever since I've watched the OVA about him and Mush and the backstory between those two and the relationship for them. But now learning this, will we consider him a trainer up in this? I mean, I don't know. What he, is he flip flopping? Is he a bad guy? I don't know. I don't know. Is he ever really going to tell Master Fujimaru about this secret that he's hiding and such? I, I don't know. I'm a little confused. What the fuck is going to happen next? I wasn't expecting, like, something about him to come up in this episode. But at the same time, I think, like, there were moments, like, especially with the first time that I saw him and wondered, I had so many questions about him, and the fact is that mm, every episode, that the more episodes that I watch, some of them feel like I I get them answered, and then sometimes I don't. 
but I never really would have thought that I don't want to consider him a traitor. I just like, but the fact is considering something like as such a big dark secret that we don't even know, except people who play this game, you probably know you're not probably going to tell me, please don't tell me. But unless I go back and say, Hey, I'm going to get to be playing the game from where I left off. Then yeah. But then at the same time, I don't want to get to that point and then immediately know. And then having to keep that secret for like, how many are every episodes they're going to, um, I don't want to say drag them along, but how many episodes they're just going to really go until they say, hey, here's a secret and such. I mean, I would like to know maybe next week if they could do it, but it seems like uh, the next following episode for 12 is just them getting Gilgamesh out wherever he is. So, I mean, I ain't going to know until next week, but um, yeah. Other than that, guys, it is my reaction to you towards episode 11 of... <laughs> Thank Grand Order Babylona. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Magical Squad. And of course, I will see you guys officially on next Saturday for episode 12. Bye, guys.